Okay, so hey guys, today's tutorial is this look right here. It is perfect for summer, it's bright, it's colorful. It's also slightly inspired by the Lakers, which was my boyfriend's inspiration when he did my makeup. If you haven't seen that video, it's my last video, my boyfriend does my makeup. Um, yeah, he ended up doing Laker themes, so he put like just yellow and purple, creating the look that he did, because I ended up liking the combination of colors that he ended up using on me. So he ended up inspired. He did, I just recreated it, added some colors, made it my style. What he put on me, the face is the same, this, they're the same products except for the blush, and then the eyes is just a recreation from what he did. I actually asked you guys on Instagram if you would like to see this look or a different look that I'll post here. Um, yeah, so a lot of you guys said, well not a lot of you, it was only like four of you who voted. But you guys, the majority of you asked for this look first, so don't worry if you wanted to see the other look. I will still be doing the other look, just not back to back, I wanted to see. So it was most of the, the purple was mainly on the eyes, the other one the purple was on the lips. So yeah, I hope you guys are going to keep up with my looks and that way you guys can vote for which look you guys like to see first because often I will take a picture and ask you guys you know which one you guys want to see first or you know if you guys want to see a tutorial on that certain makeup look or you guys get a sneak peek like I just put up this makeup tutorial so you guys will tutorial is that a lot of you guys said that you guys have this palette the 120 second edition palette so you guys wanted to see more looks with me using this palette so here is one of them I will be doing more looks using this palette don't worry um, this palette has so many variety of colors types of colors from neutrals to really really bright in your face colors so today I went more for the bright in your face colors so if you guys want to see more toned down looks or more crazy looks like this then let me know and in the comments down below what color varieties you guys would like me to use or combo of colors so with that keep watching this tutorial then just stay tuned what I've already done is I went ahead and cleaned my face so I cleansed it with my purity cleanser I'll put an insert an image here so that it's in the bathroom and then what I also did is I moisturized I used my cetaphil moisturizer so I'll put a little picture right here I let that soak in the moisturizer while I was curling my hair. I went ahead and primed my face with the Makeup Forever HD Primer. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows now that my face is primed. Um, I'm just going to do my regular eyebrow routine. Hi guys, so moving on to the tutorial now. I'm going to be taking this MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I already primed my lid prior to this but this is what I'm going to use as my base. So this is just going to take out all the pigmentation from my eyelid. So after you're done applying it from lash line to brow bone, you really want to blend it out so you have a nice even layer. Next, I'm going to go in with the second base. This is NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil, or Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm just going to apply this with a synthetic brush. The brush is from Milk Air Cosmetics. It's from the 12-piece Pro Set. And we're just going to apply this mainly on the lids and just a little bit on the crease. The reason I'm applying the second base is because I really want that yellow color from the VH Cosmetics palette to really pop on my lid. So after that, I'm just going to blend out the harsh edges from the... From the jumbo pencil taking these two yellow colors i mix them together and that's the concoction i made for the bright yellow that i use on my lids i'm going to apply that all over the lid and just to make sure that it's nicely pigmented all throughout and i'm going to do the same thing to the other eye and then i'll be right back colors i mix them together to get like a pinky purple and you're going to want to focus this mostly on the outer corner you're going to after you focus most of the product in the outer corner you're going to bring it in towards the inner corner of the crease um you're going to place this on the crease <laughs> by the way so really 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 focus on the outer corner pack most of the pigmentation there and then whatever products left bring it towards the inner corner you don't really want an intense color in the inner corner so you really want to focus that color in the outer corner so here i'm just doing the same thing to the other eye as you can see, I'm really, really focused that color in the outer corner because I don't want it to be like a really intense color in the inner corner of my crease because it's just going to close up the eye way too much. So after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take this dark purple, but it kind of comes off bluish purple on the camera. Um, and we're going to focus this on the outer corner of the crease. As you can see, it's below that pinky purple. So you still want that pinky purple to pop out uh, on top of that bluish purple but um, you really want to focus this just on the outer third of the crease and make it in an angle very <laughs> like a, a slanted uh, I, I can't explain it. you can see it there in the video it's a little bit more slanted it's not just cut straight um, after that you're gonna go ahead and take your blending brush that you applied that pinky purple with and you're not going to uh, apply any extra product, you're just going to keep blending them together. Now I'm taking this yellowish toned um, cream color and I'm going to use that as my highlight. 
As you can see, I'm using all the colors that I'll be using on my eyes are all from the BH Cosmetics palette. If you guys want to see more looks on it, then let me know in the comments down below what color combinations you like me to use. But as you can see with this highlight color, I actually like to take it actually towards the inner corner of my eye just so it cleans up any extra fallout that goes um, when blending, um, any darkness. So it really lightens it up in the inner corner as well as the brow bone. So as you can see, oh, it also helps to fix any edges and really blend um, those intense colors out. So that is what I mainly use my highlight for. Now I'm just cleaning up some more in the inner corner detail work. Now I'm going back in with that intense purple, blue, blue purple really, um, and really cleaning it up. Then I'm taking this peach color, peachy color, and I'm going to place that over that pinky purple that was peeking over that blue purple so many purples I know and um, that's just gonna act as like a gradient effect so it just blends easier from that pinky purple to the to the cream yellow um, you're really gonna want to have a really light hand when applying this because if you apply too much it will overpower the brow bone and uh, as you can see if you do you can just always go back in with your highlight and clean it up and as well it helps for blending but if you lose too much of that pink go ahead and grab up some more this is gonna be my inner corner highlight it's a beautiful yellow it's like a yellow shimmery color it kind of reminds me of rice paper I do not own rice paper but I've swatched it and it looks similar so you want to use this in the inner corner highlight something yellow based now I'm taking max black track gel liner as you can see that I lined my eyes now I'm cleaning it up um, I'm cleaning it up with this angle brush and some concealer I do this trick very often it really helps to clean up the extra eyeshadow as well as cleaning up the line of my eyeliner and after I do that I just like blend out the concealer as you can see I already cleaned up both eyes now I'm gonna apply some eyelashes oh no my bad I'm applying some nude eyeliner in my waterline this is Rimmel scandalized in nude and then I'm gonna apply my lashes and as you can see my lashes are already applied so now I'm gonna go in with uh, cover Girls 3 in 1 foundation and 842 medium beige and after I've done that I will apply some concealer preferably two shades lighter than your skin tone you really want to brighten up that under eye area this is Yabby concealer it came in my my may my may my glam bag <laughs> so after that you just really want to focus on blending that out you don't want any lines of demarcation so after you've done that I'm gonna go ahead and set everything in with Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and Translucent and a Kabuki brush so you want to pat it in first and then blend it out and after this I felt like I needed a hair break and I needed to tease a little bit, fix the hair. Okay, now back to the makeup using Wet n Wild's 901B. This is a beautiful peachy pink color that I use very often as you guys might tell if you watch my videos. Uh, this is actually the lip that Nico used on me. Then I'm going to go in with Buxom Lips in Jessica. It's like a plumping lip gloss. I really like it. Um, after that, going with my contour. This is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzing powder and I'm just going to focus this really heavily on the cheekbones and then just blend it out uh, as you can see I like to take my time sculpting out my cheekbones that I don't have <laughs> yeah so you just really want to focus it and then use a really light hand when blending it out because you don't want to bring the product too low and also you don't want to bring it too high so there that's what it should look like I'm doing the other side of my cheek now and then if you overpower any uh, either the bottom or the top just go over with your um, powder and clean it up. This is NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm apply that just to the apples of my cheeks and blend it towards my bronzer. I really, 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 really love this blush. It's so beautiful. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just taking my time and blending it because it is. It does have a shimmer finish, so you don't want to have too much. This is my highlight that I will be using. This is a Hard Candy Tiki Bronzer. Uh, it's more of a highlight. I don't know why they call it a bronzer. So I'm just focusing that on my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and of course, you can't forget the top of the cheekbones. I really, really lighting. It's like one of my favorite things besides contouring. Alright guys, guys. So, this, so this is the finished look. It's in it for her day. It's so colorful. <laughs> so yeah, this was inspired by Nico's makeup that he did. I ended up recreating this look after he did my makeup and I took it off and also this is just great for summer it's just so bright and colorful you know sometimes you just need a little color in your life to lift up your spirits i don't know when i wear color i feel more happy more upbeat i don't know i just feel like happy especially if you wear yellow it's like sunshine hello so yeah i hope you enjoy this look then give this a big old thumbs up or two if you could i don't think you could so just a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber 
so you can keep seeing more keep 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 <laughs> it's not weird what not um stay tuned because you will be seeing this outfit and its face again because i will be doing an, a review on these four brushes there are four new brushes from Mocha Cosmetics and also at the end of that video I'll be doing an update on how I like these so far. The four piece Kabuki set. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video where I will be wearing this again. So bye!